it was the morning after the day before the Tour de France had seen a GC revolution on stage 11 a big day that put Jonas Vingegaard in the yellow jersey a master plan executed by Jumbo Visma putting Tadej Pogacar under pressure dropping him seriously for the first time in his career and seeing Jonas Vingegaard take his first ever Tour de France stage win putting three minutes and a second including the bonuses into Pogacar and taking the yellow jersey. Vingegaard leading ahead of Balde with Pogacar in third, Thomas fourth and Quintana in fifth. A new day, a new opportunity. Jumbo Visma charged with defence of yellow this time and three more huge climbs to take on. Le Galibier for the second day in succession. Pogacar showing that he was up for the fight and ready to try and take back yellow. Called the Croix de Fer, as well as the mighty Alpe d'Huez also on the menu. 165.1 kilometers, 4,600 meters of climbing in terms of pure elevation and the mighty mountains, a classic stage, the queen stage of this 109th Tour de France. The 21 famous hairpins as Alpe d'Huez comes back for the first time in four years. This the profile of the last test. The thousands of supporters will once again be back after COVID times. The break took a while to form. It began to form seriously on the ascent of the Galibier. And then Chris Froome counter-attacked very close to the top. Attacking on the way down would be Thomas Pitcock. A masterclass in descending. And by the bottom, he was not only joined up with those right at the front of the race, he'd be ahead of them. Louvel was dropped, he wouldn't see the front again. Pitcock will be the last to join alongside Froome. 100 kilometers in high heat still awaited the riders. The break would take a nice big gap, pushing on for eight minutes as they went up the Col de la Croix de Fer. It was down to six and a half minutes, and Jumbo Visma were going to work behind. Tishpenot, Wart van Aert, and the rest working for Jonas Vingegaard. It looks as though the breakaway might be in trouble with their gap less than five minutes inside the final 50 kilometers. But on the descent, heading into the flat run into Bourdoison at the base of the final climb, the gap was once again growing. The mighty Alp awaited 70 years after the first ever ascent, which incidentally had been the first ever summit finish. Fausto Coppi winning on that day. Just over 10 and a half kilometers remained when Thomas Pitcock took off. On Tour de France debut, dropping Paulus and Ciccone. Meinkies was close, Froome in attendance as well. But those gaps, continue to grow supporters on the classic climb looking left and right Pitcock riding away to the stage and behind Roglic doing the damage this time in deluxe domestique mode Quintana, Godou and even Romain Bardet dropped by the time he'd finished his work many of them would fight on It'd be a recovery day too for Emric Mas and Tadej Pogacar would show he was up for the fight. Not one attack, but at least two or three. Geraint Thomas dropped on a couple of occasions and fighting his way back. Pitcock riding away to a first ever tour stage win on debut. Pogacar trying to go again. Vingegaard sticking to his back wheel, however. And Thomas working his way back as he'd done throughout his career. It's early in the road career of Tom Pitcock. Already a mountain bike Olympic champion, a cyclocross world champion. Now a Tour de France stage winner on one of its most famous finishes. Pitcock riding away back into the top 10, but more importantly, picking up his first Grand Tour stage win. Ineos' first of the season, with Louis Meinkies finishing second, closer than he's ever come before. And Chris Froome fighting, showing work, grit and determination, getting back to the front of the race for the first time since his awful accident. 
No big splits on the way in as Pogacar was there with Vingegaard. Thomas crossing the line as well. Valde working to get back on. But losing his spot on the podium. Thomas moving up to third. Pogacar back in second. Vingegaard with a 2 minute 22 lead in the yellow jersey. A victory for Tom Pidcock. Blast off to Planet Pidcock for Tour de France. Beating Meinke's Froome, Paulus and then the GC group. Pogacar, Vingegaard and Thomas. Emmerich Mass having a better day after losing eight minutes the day before. The Tour de France certainly not over. Pogacar showing he's up for the fight. But Pog's not back yet. The GC looking like this, leaving the Alps. Vingegaard with a 2 minute 22 lead. 2.26 over Thomas and Valde still in close contact as well. So away from the Alps they go, transition time into Saint-Étienne, almost 200 kilometers of racing at a day that on paper at least looks easier than the last two or three they've had. More mountainous appointments await. They all come in the Pyrenees. Before that, a little trip to the, the Massif Central. The Tour de France continues on stage 13 and you'll be able to watch it as always, live or on demand on GCN Plus and Discovery Plus.